Hey Hydrogen people, in this video I'll show you the best items for hydrogen experiments that you can order from AliExpress. Number 1. Flashback Arrestor That's the most important part for safety work if you decide to burn hydrogen at the output of the cell. That's right, what else can we do with it? The most popular question I see in comments – how to make a flashback arrestor with your own hands. Boys and God forbid girls, don't do this! The world is full of dangers without it. Despite the small size, internal structure of this stuff is more complicated than a Jedi lightsaber. There are different designs of arresters, but almost all contain two parts. Heat-resistant membrane with micron holes, which stop the flame and detonation wave, and one-way spring, which allows gas to go only one way. Install this unit as close as possible to the burner, combustion chamber, repulsor or any other hot pot. Always try to make a hot pot as short as possible. By the way, only on AliExpress I found such units with easy connect tips that are perfect for small hydrogen joy. If you use valves for professional gas equipment, you need to make the adapters because there is not a metric thread, this can reduce the tightness of the circuit. So buy the ready-made flashback arresters and don't confuse its direction when connecting. Any flashback arresters are designed for a certain gas flow rate, and for this purpose we need to measure it. Number 2. Simple gas flow meter. It's handy stuff. Using it we know the speed of HHO gas generation at any moment. Let us recognize that some guys just sit and count how many bubbles per minute appear from a tube under the water. More advanced inventors lower the tube into a flask of water and observe how much water will be elevated in a minute. Both ways are inconvenient because for measurement you need to accumulate the gas. So we cannot measure the speed and use the gas at the same time. A simple gas flow meter is used in any gas equipment for welding. The principle is simple. Gas flow raises the ball in a transparent flask with an expanding hole to a certain height. The stronger the gas flow, the higher the ball rises. Install such a flow meter between the electrolyzer and the flashback arrestor and enjoy the convenience. If the power of your cell is up to 150 watts, choose a flow meter from 1 tenth to 1 liter of gas per minute. If your electrolyzer is more powerful, it's better to measure the generation rate in a simple way first and select a flow meter for the desired speed. Now we know the gas generation rate at any given time. Number 3. Pneumatic fitting with clamps. Who reads my PDF instructions properly see the word tightness every night. Tightness is the main thing in gas units. Moreover, the tightness of the entire circuit and not just the electrolyzer. So all connections has to withstand the same pressure. Any HHO generation circuit should hold minimum pressure that is necessary to push the gas through the flashback arrestor. This is at least half the atmosphere. More often, the tightness is broken at the connection point. If the connection is not separable, then you can use a special nut for sealing that is described in the PDF guide for Iron Man Exoskeleton and Repulsor. If the connection is movable, then it's better to use pneumatic fittings with clamping washers. The inside diameter of these holes is indicated in descriptions of such fittings. The choice of diameter depends on the gas generation rate. For low power electrolyzers up to 150 watts, fittings with a hole 3 or 4 mm are enough. Number 4. Water tank with 3 outputs. Such a tank for water or weak alkali solution are made of material that will not be corroded. It is used in HHO circuits with flowing electrolyzers like in my laboratory unit. Water is added through the neck and closed with a lid. Water, foam and brown gas enter the tank through one of the top fitting, the drained fuel gas go to the bubbler with another upper fitting. And through the bottom hole water returns to the electrolyzer for circulation. Of course, a tank with 4 holes can be made by your own hands. But along with finding a tank of suitable volume, searching of parts and manufacturing, this is definitely not less than 8 hours. Anyway, the choice to make yourself or buy ready-made is always yours. Number 5. A bubbler. A hydraulic seal or a bubbler is another element which allows you to secure your HHO experiments. Gas from the electrolyzer enters the tube which is lowered into the water. Ongoing flow of gas turns into separate bubbles which pop up and go further to the hot part of the circuit. So if the gas is ignited from the burner side and even if the flame goes in a bubbler, flame doesn't go further to the cell. In many cases, a homemade bubbler is made from the first can. Thumb up if you've done the same stuff and the air whistled immediately from 5 holes. Sometimes it's really easier to buy what you can buy and you have more time to make things that can be purchased and you have to do it yourself. Number 6. Electric solenoid valve. This is the most important element if you don't immediately burn the output gas, but accumulate it under big pressure and then sharply release and set it on fire. Actually, this unit is designed for the car horn, but it's also just perfect for our good deeds. 
The power of any pulse device, whether it be a Tesla coil, a pulse jet engine or a pulsar, always depends on the speed of energy release. The sharper the energy is released, the more powerful the pulse is. And in case of gas devices, this valve is responsible for such a sharp release. The solenoid valve is like an ordinary water tap, but it's controlled by electricity. It opens and closes in a split second, unlike the tap valve in your kitchen. How it works? A spring-loaded magnetic rod which locks the valve is installed inside. Inductor coil is wound around it. As soon as you apply enough current to the coil, valve opens instantly. The model that I found withstands pressure up to 20 atmospheres. Just imagine what will happen if you suddenly release such pressure of fuel gas and then burn it. It's better to install this unit after the bubbler as close as possible to the flashback arrestor. Number 7. The plates and the gaskets. These are two necessary units if you want to make an electrolyzer. It's ok for the first DIY experiments to take any metal garbage cut it by a grinder and gaskets from any rubber. But if you make a serious model, there are a couple rule of thumb that my engineers know as a multiplicational table. Metal stainless steel plates grade 304 or 316 or other austenitic steel should be cut it with a laser. And rubber gaskets should be made of 2 mm warm frosty acid alkali resistant rubber. Otherwise, you will fail the circuit from the very beginning. Sometimes it's really easier to buy the most inaccessible parts, so it remains only to make the walls and assemble the cell. Another pros to order the cell in the parts, the package is almost flat. So you receive a small package in the post office and you assemble your own hydrogen reactor at home. Number 8. Laboratory power supply. I know that half of you still power the electrolyzers with computer and phone chargers. Believe me, when you have your own laboratory power supply, life becomes simpler and more understandable. A strong benefit for the experimenter when you work with such a power supply, you see how exactly current and voltage change depending on different parameters, this of course provides a deeper understanding of what you're doing. I've been using such unit with a power of 150 watts for about 7 years, it gives 30 volts and 5 amps. So far this has been enough for all projects which you see on Alex Lab channel. Of course if I need more current, then I take lithium batteries. By the way, it's very convenient to charge and balance these lithium batteries just with a such power supply. It also has fine tuning knobs up to several milliamps and short circuit protection. A short circuit when working with a self made electrolyzer is an ordinary thing. Number 9. No, you truly can find anything there. Yes, this is a ready made electrolyzer. Oh, I agree, let's cry that shipping cost turns out high because of the big weight. But guys, fully assembled hydrogen reactor comes to your post office. Your granny pay for rent in the next window? And here I recommend you three models to choose. The simplest 13 plates. Plates configuration and connection are exactly the same as an Ironman hydrogen reactor. Powered by 12 volts, negative wire to the first and last plates and positive to the middle one. Other plates are not connected. If you use it as flowing electrolyzer so that foam and water circulate through the system, such a thing will produce about half a liter of gas per minute without overheating. If used without other tanks at all, that gives you only 100 milliliters per minute because at high speed the foam will spray through the top. Second model has 25 plates, it gives from 1 to 4 liters per minute, you even can get 5 liters per minute but with bigger heat losses. And the third model, almost the size of a microwave oven, which I definitely would have ordered if only I could not have made it myself, this is 67 plates. Such a brick gives from 5 to 12 liters of gas per minute. With this device you can clean the car engines and use for welding and cutting metal with a finger thick. The main advantage in ready-made units, you save your time for manufacturing. If you properly figure out how long it will take for your own manufacture of an electrolyzer, even if you have drawings, you will understand that sometimes it's better to order ready-made. And the top of our rating today for the guys who love to get everything ready. All previous items suggest that you need to make part of equipment for hydrogen generation by yourself. Number 10 is complete hydrogen generator powered from the line supply with all units ready and a gas burner. 600 watts, 1.5 liters per minute, so it's a complete tool for welding, soldering and other hydrogen fun. The only disappointment for experimenter, this brick is like Windows. You can't change or upgrade anything. You know, I still get at least one order of hydrogen units per day. I would really like to do it myself, but I have no production capacity so far. But the idea to design and produce gadgets for you is an idea that I fall asleep and wake up with. Therefore, I wrote the technical director of Ogo company, which now is a leader in production of small hydrogen gadgets, uh, such a letter. I asked him if he were ready to manufacture and ship devices made according to my drawings and prototypes for my customers. And you know what he answered? Yes, Iron Man. 
What benefits for you? Now I can develop cool gadgets and you can buy them at low prices and receive within a month. For example, the most wanted Mark I reactor, which if I made and ship it myself, would cost you $250. And with help of China, you can buy it for 75 bucks, uh, plus shipping cost, which depends on how far you live from China. Isn't it cool, isn't it? Write in comments what do you think about it. Would you buy my gadgets this way? And now Alex Lab Challenge! First, let's congratulate the winners of the February challenge, Edward Igonis and Stas Derivtsov. Comments of these guys collected the most likes under the last videos and I have already sent them the sponsor certificate with a steel Alex Lab button. And the price for my challenge is authentic craft guide of most wanted of my gadgets, exoskeleton and Iron Man repulsor. Uh, with my signature and best wishes for you. Whose comment under this video will get the most like in a month? I will send this book by mail to him. Actually, there is the simplest way to get all PDF instructions in one click. Become a sponsor of Alex Lab channel with engineer companion level and the PDF guides for all my gadgets will be available to you. Links to all the stuff from this video is in the description. Write in comments what interesting kits you found on AliExpress. Click the like, click the bell, don't forget to share this video. See you in a month. Take care of yourself now a little more than usual.